Hi, also uh, welcome. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Um, the Voice Over Industry seems to be a very uh, close knit group of supportive people and individuals. And uh, I was wondering if you could tell any brief stories about individuals in the community and in the, in the industry that have not only inspired your career, but have also inspired you in your personal love, in your personal lives. Yeah. Well, I can think of a few people who have inspired me not to do what they did, but... Uh, I was a disc jockey, and uh, uh, when I got to L.A., and I needed an agent, uh, and uh, we didn't have agents in Portland or Reno or other places that I'd worked, so, but I needed an agent, and Gary Owens was one of the guys, Gary, Gary was this guy, you know, on laughing. I used to call him up and say, Gary, this is you. <laughs> and he would reply, hello, me. <laughs> well, he always said, who is me? <laughs> but but uh, uh, so I was chatting with Gary, and I had done a demo tape of character voices, and I played it for Gary, and I said, what do you think I should do with this? And he said, well, here comes my agent down the hall. And he said, he introduced me to his agent, and he said, this is Jack, and blah, 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 and we should listen to his tape, and the guy listened to my tape and he said, oh, yeah. He said, uh, you could get an agent with that. And I said, well, I need an agent. He said, oh, sure. Come on. So I got an agent, my first agent that fast, that easy. Uh, so Gary was instrumental in helping me get my first agent. That's another guy that, that there wasn't a mean bone in his body. He just was the nicest man. And, uh, so I'd have to say, you know, Gary Owens, and then after that it was Bowie Bird, and after that it's that broad sitting over there. <laughs> That's uh, Arlene Thornton, uh, and her her uh, her other name is Arlene Angel. She's my wife or my mother. <laughs> well, you better figure out which. <laughs> I, I guess I, I only met him very briefly and I didn't really have a chance to thank him, but I guess I was inspired mostly by Casey Kasem because I was coming out of, yeah. I was coming out of radio, I barely, I didn't even know voiceover existed until 1970 when a record promoter happened to say voiceovers and I said, what the hell is that? I, th I wondered, I wanted to do this stuff, but I, I wondered who does these commercials, who does these cartoons, and I had this sort of stupid theory that it was on camera people moonlighting, picking up a couple of bucks on the side, which it was, I guess, in a few cases, but I had no idea that voiceover existed as a separate entity, and, and I'm very grateful to uh, Tony Richland, you probably know Tony, for telling me that, but anyway, here came Casey with basically the same background I had, and by God, he made it across the, the Great Divide. And I thought, maybe I could do that too. Because I really had no acting credentials, I had taken no classes, I knew nothing, but I just had this dream, and I thought maybe I could do what Casey did. So, I'm grateful to him on that level. Thank you very much. Yeah.